Typically, there's an open door policy at Country Lane Farms. These days, though, with the threat of the avian flu, the gates are shut. It's stressful for us farmers. That's why we're out here in the cold and not inside my warm shop. Only the farm manager is allowed inside the barns. That's it, just one person. We're doing our best to keep it out. The avian flu circulates almost every year, but this strain, known as H5N1, is especially transmissible. This particular strain is very severe because we're seeing it impact wild birds. In the past, wild birds have frequently been carriers but haven't fallen ill themselves, but we're seeing some wild birds get ill this time as well. The avian flu is already hitting Europe and the U.S. hard, killing 20 million birds south of the border, at the same time putting a dent into the supply of chicken and eggs and driving prices up. Your morning breakfast price is going up all the way from the eggs, but to the bacon and the toast and everything else. As wild birds migrate north for the spring and summer, positive cases on farms are climbing. There are more than 30 across the country, resulting in 500,000 birds killed or euthanized. Retail chicken prices are already up across the country compared to a year ago, mainly because of rising fuel and other expenses. If the avian flu continues to spread, prices could climb higher. If you start looking at millions and millions of birds uh, euthanized, that would become a problem for sure. At Country Lane Farms, there was a price increase last year. Now with feed costs up 75%, there might be another hike. The main focus though is locking down the barn and keeping the virus out. Kyle Bax, CBC News near Chestermere, Alberta.